G'day, it's Jaden Ryan, and today is Netflix Peak Slappos. That's right, and we're reviewing Lost in Space. You know, I love Netflix, okay? I'm flicking through it all the time. That is, that's what it's for. Uh, I came across Lost in Space. Didn't even mm -hmm. think that it was going to be there, but it was there. So I thought, why not? And I usually do not take any gambles on these things, right? Because, no, you know, I'm usually disappointed. Yes. Right? Now, this time, I was not that disappointed. Maybe it was because <laughs> it wasn't built up, so there wasn't much expectation there. Yeah. Um, I thought it was okay. And I'll tell you what I like about it. I like that there is big lands. I like that there is new worlds to visit. I like... Like the, the the family element of it, it's Jade. graphically nice, Lapos, yes. and who better than the Swiss Family Robinson to see us through yes, yes. Lost in Space? Well, I think that Swiss Family Robinson was probably where they got the name. You Robinson. don't know. Yeah, that's that's out there. What, I'm super serious. Wow, I'm super serious. That's that's freaking out there, man. But look, look, Netflix they got a lot of originals these days, and if you call Lost in Space an original, pff, I don't know. Mm. It's, it felt simplistic to me, Lapos. I don't know if I like it or not. I really don't. Let, let's have a little look. <sighs> hmm. Graphically amazing. I think that it looks good. Doesn't I think it, it look looks good? Really, yeah. Sets beautiful. Uh -huh. The the wardrobe on that. Look at these setups. It's it's meant to be like a thirty years in the future. Yeah. I just don't know if I like it, Lapos. It just feels like they've got another license for something and they're just going to chew their way through it. I don't think the lore of Lost in Space has been respected. It feels like their characters have got to go on these little simplistic storylines where you look back at Lost in Space and it was uh, the Robinsons were witty. That was yes. savvy. Yes. They got through it. But yeah. I don't know if I'm feeling that from this family. I, I just don't know. Look, I'm not going to lie. I, I find a lot of modern churned out TV shows. They've got a great idea and they go with it. But I think that it can sometimes get a little bit overproduced. Do you know, yeah. they think yeah. about every damn little yeah. thing before it happens. And, and it seems so contrived. So I know exactly what you're saying. I think that we've also been spoiled with shows like Game of Thrones and Sopranos where there's that grit that you really brings you into it. This is shot beautifully it's amazing it's, it's that's what gets me visually through. stunning yeah you know but uh you know lost in space more like mired in mediocrity mm. for me yeah look i uh, look you were saying to me before that you could watch this while sort of what you know playing I've, with your mobile I have phone. phone shows but yeah. it's not even a phone show for that for me it, it's below a phone show it's below a phone show yeah man oh my I, god i don't know wait a minute know. you prefer the, the walking dead to this yeah Really? Hold on. I have seen The Walking Dead because you put me onto it and I saw like the first season and I was like, yeah, it's all right. And then you told me that you need to watch the second season in order to enjoy it. So not only do I have to go through the first season and the second season before it even gets good, and you're slighting this one off. I can't compare the two. No, I suppose they're you totally can't. different. You can't go you know, put Walking Dead and they're, they're totally different. Survival shows, yes. But in a very different context, Lapo. All right, all right, all right. Out of ten. <sighs> five and a half. Five and a half. Five and a half. For and the half, visual okay. stunningness of it all. Okay. Um, you know, look, there's some good actors in there. They're just not given great storylines. Yeah. All but right, now tell me what they could have done to make you like it more. Just what could the, they have done? Make it more real. Yes. More real, more, more, more gritty. Real, more gritty. More Lapos. Grit. gritty. Yeah. I don't need the visual stunningness. I don't need the awesomeness. I need real stories, real characters True. I can latch onto. And that Maybe is the thing that's lacking. By the end time. of the season, they might have grown. And it's tough for any show to develop their their characters and make them really likable and latch onto-able. Yes. There's something for you. I thought it was interesting go, that, go Google you know, that one. Dr. Smith is a woman in it. At first I was like, oh, God. But then, you know, I thought she did all right. She does all right. She does all right with she's, it. So she's why one not? of the better characters in it. Yes, indeed. Cookie. So, How yeah. many? How many popcorns, Lapos? <sighs> tough. Tough. Uh, I don't know. What? Five, Before six, you go paying out of my walking dead. Five, the highest rating show in America, Lapos. Five, six. Half of them are crazy. Anyway, uh, five, six, something like that. So I, I give it a five and a half and you're going five or six. Yes. So you might as well just say five and a half. I, just copy me, bro. Didn't even realise. Well, anyway, there you go. That was Netflix Picks. And we've been Jade and Ryan and you've been bloody wonderful. Yes. And we're going to be back soon. See you later.
Thanks for watching. To see more, like on Facebook, subscribe to YouTube, follow on Instagram, and watch on Twitch. If you'd like to help keep Jade and Ryan on the internet, support the show over at Patreon.